Hey guys, I just left a tuning appointment and um, wow. I mean, uh, I'll, I'm gonna tell you what it is and then I'm also gonna tell you what not to do if you wanna be a really good piano tuner and have a long-term business. So it's in the South Nashville, Tennessee area. I, I work here just off and on a little bit as I'm doing my other things. But today's my, my appointment was at a house, small Baldwin upright piano, and it was 50 cents flat. Now, the reason they called and hired me, I guess, supposedly was uh, they had hired a local company, one of the larger companies in town here, and they had been there already twice to tune the piano. And what they told them was, you can't raise the piano. The piano was like 80 or 90 cents flat probably when they when this guy uh, and this company got there. And this lady had already paid about $375 to get the piano tuned. They had been there twice and they said they're going to they're going to bring it up 20 cents each time. So it was going to take four tunings to get it up to pitch and it was going to be like around $600. Okay. So that's that's the problem, okay? So today, within an hour and a half, I raised the piano 50 cents and tuned it. Piano's perfectly fine at 8440. It's, a, it's a, about a 30-year-old Baldwin upright. Okay, pens were fine, everything's fine. But here's the problem. And here's the really the main reason I wrote the Apex Way Piano Tuning Course, is because this is the industry, this is the problem. You have people who just have a, a, a child who wants to learn the piano, and you have piano tuners out there who are doing all of these things that just boggle my brain. So there's absolutely no reason. There's a, there's a few small reasons where you would maybe bring the piano up a little bit at a time. But the piano was designed to be at 440. The piano can be pulled to 440. I've never had a problem unless it had rusty strings. It was really like a hundred year old piano and you can just tell that's not going to work. But these modern pianos were built to be at 440. You can take a piano that's 100 cents flat and bring it up to A440 in one tuning. I mean, I do it all the time. And I know, guys, I know there are some of you out there. Comment on this video if that's you. If you can do that as well, comment. In one pass, you can pull a piano from 80 cents all the way up to 440, and then you can go back and do your final tuning. So that's one pitch raise pass, one final tuning. If you know what you're doing, if you understand the difference between tension and tuning, tension and tuning is two different things. So this company is basically taking hundreds, $600 over months of this family's time and life, and the piano still isn't even playable because they keep moving it 20 cents at a time. This is, this is like, if this was medicine, this would be like malpractice, basically. This, is, this has nothing to do with being a good piano tuner. If you wanna be a really good piano tuner, learn to tension the piano, learn to tune the piano tension it right and tune it right you can learn that at apexpiano.com that's what i teach you i will teach you the way my mentors taught me you can get past all the silliness get a good reputation now these these guys obviously ruined their reputation with this client that just after a few times they said well, we've already paid almost 400 dollars, and the piano still isn't to pitch my, my kid still can't play with his youtube videos and they called somebody else it's just it's just basically malpractice okay this is that's what it is Every piano, uh, if you are really, really smart, and you really know what you're doing when you get to the piano, you can look at it, you can tune a few pins and know, yeah, this probably isn't gonna go to 440, and you're never gonna put it at 440. There's no reason if a piano can be at 440 that you should wait and sit there and go over and over again, 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents, 20 cents. It's, there's no proof to that. So guys, just, if you want to learn to tune pianos and do it well and really build a business and, and get out of all this silliness, go to apexpiano.com. Check out the Apex way, the tuning the Apex way. Tension and tuning. I teach this, the philosophies of tensioning and tuning the piano. They're two different things. And if you don't understand those, you're never going to be a solid piano tuner, period. No matter what you do, ear, uh, AccuTuner, whatever, you're never going to be great unless you understand those and you can master that. The guys that I work with, the guys that work with me, and the guys who take this class will understand tensioning and tuning as taught by my master piano technician mentors along the years. And you can master the piano, but you gotta think beyond this textbook, this old school, this crazy way that these guys are doing piano tuning. You've gotta think beyond that. You wanna be really, really, uh, versed in this and good at this and be able to go out there and just kill it, 
then you got to quit thinking like that. Apexpiano.com. That is my rant today. I was so disappointed. I gave them uh, just an extraordinarily good deal. I couldn't even begin to charge them even my full price at that point because I'm just like, you know, they're just getting ripped off, ripped off by these piano tuners. Okay. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. That's why I started Apex Piano. I wanted to be something different. That's why I got, I quit the PTG. I wanted to have an organization that was different. Apex Piano, right there, Apex Piano Tuning. I wanted to have an, an international organization that was different, that really cared about pianos and people and could put that together with highly skilled technicians in the field. And I'm just, I, I was just so sick of hearing all of these theories that just cost so much stupidity in the piano world. And that's why we even started the APTN. So if you're here and you get it, then that's great. Stay here. If you think I'm a jerk, if you think that, uh, you know, you know more than everybody else, then just unfollow the page and move along. That's not why we did APTN. We did APTN for guys that really want to understand piano tuning and really want to understand clients and put those two things together, make a good living, have a good business, make great money and be the best in the field. That's all it is. Okay, that's what it is. And if that's what you want to do, then just keep keep on reading. Give it a thumbs up. If you think, you know, this guy, if you think, I don't know, this, yeah. If you think this guy's crazy, he's a nut job, just delete the page. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side.